peaches tonight. Oh, and did I tell you there's more candy in the pantry if you run low? Only about a hundred times. Hey, are you sure you don't want to go trick-or-treating? Yeah, Dad. For the 200th time, I'm sure. Well, I guess that's everything, then. Whoa, not everything. Put this on when you answer the door. The kids will love it. I'm not putting a mask on, Dad. Remember, I'm too old. <laughs> Whatever you think is best, Pookie, but I'm telling you, it's a hoot. <sighs> Whatever. We'll be back by 10, sweetie. Happy Halloween! Thanks. Whew, finally. A little peace and quiet. Now, back to the four numbskulls meet the vampire's ghost. Ah, now you never get too old for this. Jeez, the tiny tots are arriving already. Oh, hi, guys. Nice costumes. Toilet paper, Gus? Yep. Well, I guess you came for some candy. Take all you want. We didn't come for candy, Spinelli. We came for you. Aw, oh, come on. I told you I'm not trick-or-treating. That's what you said earlier today. But it's the witching hour. Surely now you can't resist. Look, sorry, but I've outgrown Halloween. Once you've outgrown something, you just can't unoutgrow it. I say you're wrong. All you're thinking about is your crummy time at the pumpkin patch. What you should be thinking about is all the great times we have on Halloween night, like at the Edelman's. <laughs> Here you go, children! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Tons of candy just spooned into our bags. And hey, what about all the thrills and chills? Like the old McPherson place. I mean, having to walk through a graveyard? Get out of here! And that creepy dude with the candy. I don't think Mr. McPherson even knows he's there. <laughs> What truly terrifies me is having to walk past the old abandoned prison. You just know there's an unreformed felon inside watching you. <laughs> but nothing compares to the old Gordon place. That's right, Gus. Nothing compares to the old Gordon place. The perfect terrifying end to a perfectly terrifying evening. To this day, I swear to you that those people are vampires. Hello there, children. Maybe you'd like some candy. It's the finest candy. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Yep. Those Transylvanian accents are a dead giveaway. Sorry, TJ, but those aren't Transylvanian accents. The Gordons are from Massachusetts. I asked my mom. <laughs> Massachusetts? Where's that? Someplace scary, no doubt. Oh, guys, thanks for sharing all the memories. But if you want to have any fun tonight, you better get going. Please, Spinelli, you must join us. Listen, all that stuff that used to seem so great about Halloween, well, I look at it differently now. It's like the magic's gone, okay? It's just something that happens when you get older. So go on, I'll see you tomorrow. But we're just as old as she is. I don't see things differently. Me neither, I don't think. Forget about it, guys. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Trick or treat! Oh, what adorable costumes! Here, children, happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Edelman. See, I don't care what Spinelli says. For me, nothing can ruin the magic of this moment. You said it, Teach. You can. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but this candy is sugarless. What? Say it ain't so! Well, of course it is. I always give out sugarless candy. I am a dentist after all. Happy Halloween! And remember to brush and floss tonight. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> sugarless candy? What a fiendish, fiendish trick. In the past, I've always been too wonderfully excited to read the fine print on my Halloween candy. Well, so what? Come on, there's plenty more fun in the store besides the Edelman's. Trick-or-treat! Boo! Hi, Digger Sam. Hi, Digger Dave. Hey, how did you know it was us? Just a wild guess. Here, have some candy. Gee, Spinelli, you could at least pretend to be scared. Yeah, it's Halloween for dirt's sake. Where's your spirit? Sorry, guys. I grew out of it. Well, not us. And there are a lot of little kids coming this way. We'll tell them to skip this house if you're just gonna be a grump. No, don't tell them that. I'll try and act more into it, okay? Well, okay. <laughs> Oh my, what have we here? Some very scary costumes. But we're not supposed to be scary. I'm an astronaut. I'm a ballerina. I mean, I'm a wholesome wedge of cheese. Oh, sorry. I guess what I meant to say was... I guess I'm the scary one. Have some candy. Thanks, lady. That was great. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Ah, the 
old McPherson place. Now this is Halloween at its creepiest. I'm telling you guys, walking through a graveyard? Get out of here. And look, here he is, the creepy fellow with a bowl of candy. All right, here we go. Boy, oh boy, now what would Spinelli say about this? She'd probably say we shouldn't run away when the guy makes a grab for us. Like there's nothing to be scared of. Oh, right. Perhaps then we should resist running just to tell her how much more terrifying it is. All right, guys, if you're up for it, I am. Get ready to grab. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, great. You broke my motorized ghoul dummy. Now I'm going to have to patch him with chicken wire. Uh, sorry, Mr. McPherson. Well, you should be. The little kids who really believe in ghouls sure are going to be disappointed now. Maybe we should have just run away after all. Look, the graveyard! With the light on, those don't even look like real gravestones. They're just made of plywood? It's just like Spinelli said. When you look at everything in a new way, it really does take out the magic. Yeah, we'll forget it, guys. It doesn't mean anything. Because I know a place that's really going to scare us. <laughs> How's that? Pretty good. Just make sure when you growl, you really growl from your guts, okay? Gotcha. Oh, and one other thing. Always wear fake blood so people will know you're carnivores. Thanks, Spinelli. Happy Halloween! <laughs> hey there, Spinelli. Happy Halloween. Miss Finster? You scared the bejeebers out of me. That's the idea. Hey, I thought you were a fairy princess. Only till the moon comes out. Say, are your folks here? Nah, they went out for the evening. That's ah, too bad. I was gonna invite them to a spooky shindig with some friends. Hey, how come you're not out trick-or-treating with your friends? Uh, I... I think I'm too old for that stuff. You do? Oh, well, I, I've got a party to go to. Here's the number where your folks can reach me in case they get back early. Okay, Miss Finster. Have fun. Oh, I will. I will. Ooh. Hey, Miss Finster! Wait! What's that? Actually, before you go, there's something I want to ask you about Halloween. All right, guys. Halloween hasn't been too great so far, but the old abandoned prison is guaranteed to make up for it. It certainly does look frightening. Uh-oh. My neck just tingled. That's tingled, Gus. And mine did, too. Yep. Right about now is when we usually take off screaming down the street. Hey! My neck stopped tingling. Tingling, Gus. And I did, too. I don't get it. How come I'm not that scared? Because it ain't scary, you dopes. Oh, don't tell me you whittle trick-or-treaters still think that place is an old prison. <laughs> 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 well, sure we do. That's what it is. What's it to you, Lawson? Oh, nothing. Seth, you're wrong. Carrillo. Huh? You see? Good thing you didn't run away like usual, or you never would have found out that this is just the old Department of Motor Vehicles. But the DMV? That's just an extremely boring office building. That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Now let's go bug some other little kids. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. The Department of Motor Vehicles? Man, it's like nothing we've seen tonight has been scary or fun. Alas, the magic truly is gone. I've got to admit, maybe Spinelli's right. Maybe we're too old for Halloween, too. <laughs> <laughs>